Hey, uh, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. And uh, last time we wrote some few lines of codes to add movies to our database using our HTML forms. And uh, in this video, we are going to do the edit. So basically, whenever you add a movie, you should be able to edit it as well. You don't have to go through, you know, admin panel to edit it. So if you want to change the name, or the release date or anything so you must be able to do that so okay let's create a view we'll say define edit movies request and and since we are editing a single movie at once we need the ID of the movie so we'll say that and first we'll get the get the movie linked with ID and we'll say movie equals movie dot objects dot get so this will basically get the movie with id this one and then form check will say if request dot method equals post we'll say form equals movie form and we'll say instance equals movie request.post or not and then check if form is valid we'll say if form dot is valid we'll say data equals form dot set commit equals false and data dot save okay after it has been saved we'll just return to return redirect to the home page or we can also do redirect to the details page to do that we'll just copy the detail and we will give the parameter id so we will return to that part and then uh, else we'll say form is movie form Okay, we don't need this over here because we are going to load the movie with the previous instance. So instance is movie and then we'll return redirect, return render request and we'll render the same add movies page, but now it will add, I mean, it will render with the content, previously added content. Okay, so let's add it in the views, I mean URLs. To do that, we'll just say path, edit movies, and then it's integer ID, and then view specified is this one, and name is edit movies. Okay, so, so let's go ahead and do edit movies says one and it says okay let's edit movies i just typed edi and there we go it says the dark knight will just say this is batman and we'll say add movies and let's check the home page let's reload it okay instead it just added the movie okay so let's see what we did wrong over here and let's provide instance over here as well instance is movie and then try to edit this one which is details edit movies will say update it add movies and there you go so we needed instance over there as well. So this has been updated. Let's try to change the 1917. We'll say edit movies and we'll say 1917, the return. And then we'll just say add movies. And as you can see, it has been updated. And there you go, 1917, the return. Uh, let's just create a HTML button to edit it. So in the details page, we'll just add a link we'll say ahrf and it's going to reference to url 
main edit movies and the parameter is movie.id we'll give it a class of btn btn warning and we'll say edit movie and then let's reload it and there we go edit movie we'll say this is the description and there we go this is the description also let's tweak one more thing so it's whenever we're trying to edit it it says add movies so to make that logic let's just type in over here let's just give it another thing we'll say controller and we'll just say add movies and then we'll say controller edit movies and then let's check and let's just render it to the text over here we'll just say control Okay, let's try to reload it and edit movies it says edit movies but let's just see the text as well so to do that it's fairly simple just go ahead and delete it and then edit movies edit movies oh my bad this should be controller i don't know what i'm doing okay so this says edit movies, but whenever we want to add movies, we will go add movies. So uh, that was it for the edit. Just try to get hold of this code. So you have to pass instance on both of these so that our form recognizes that what instance were, are we going to edit, and then it will save the edited version. And if you have any problems with this, just let me know in the comment section below. I'll try to answer all your questions. If not, we will see in the next video where we will learn how we can delete the posts. And thanks for watching. Stay tuned to my next video.